dolls. So you might be thinking, hey, she's wearing the same outfit she was wearing in her Liz Lisa haul. Well, that's because I decided, hey, there's enough daylight left. I'll start filming one more video I've been meaning to film. And that is my nerd haul for the summer. This is pretty much the entire summer. I don't usually have enough to do monthly hauls because I just, I don't buy that much. I may have a problem, but it's not that bad. I'm gonna start with plushies and the first one I am picking up right off the top is this Gigi plush that I got from work. He was super impulse buy, but I bought him because I was at my shift carrying him around the entire time, just petting him because he feels like a real kitten. And by the end, my one of my coworkers was like, dude, just buy him, you clearly want him. So I did. Then everything else is Pokemon plushies because I collect Pokemon if you haven't been on my channel for very long. The first thing I have here is Picazard, and he was in my Pokemail video number two. He's super cute and probably the cutest Pikachu plushie I've ever seen, especially with his little angry face. Then I got some Flareon items from the Evolution Pokemon Time promotion that the Pokemon Center had recently. Flareon is my favorite Evolution, and I do specifically collect her. And so I got the little mascot plush who is ridiculously adorable. And the tag is cute too and just mm, everything about her is so adorable. I also got the strap and I'll try to show you that closer without glare. I do plan on keeping this one mint in package. I kind of want to grab another one that I can take out and use. And I also got the tin from eBay for only $7, which is awesome because people on the internet are selling these for like 20 bucks now, which I'm not about that life. And I have one more plushie to show you and I'm so excited for her. She is one of my favorite Pokemon, but I mostly only collect plush and she's never had a plush before, so I've never actually collected her. But she just got her first plush, and it is Ninetales. I cannot tell you how much I love Ninetales. Fire types are my favorite type of Pokemon, and Ninetales is so gorgeous. She's such a majestic Pokemon, and she's never had a plush before despite her popularity, so it makes no sense to me. But finally, Pokemon Center made her a plush, and she does not disappoint. She's beautiful. Now I will show you the anime figures I got. There are one, two, three, four, five. But the first one's very small. It is the Princess Serenity Petit Chara from Mega House, and she comes with a little moonstick charm. I actually already have her out of the box. She's not in here. She is up on my Sailor Moon shelf. She's super beautiful. Next, I have a prize figure that I bought because she was super cheap and I just combined her with another figure I had purchased. And it is the Super Sonico Mermaid figure by Fururu. I wanted her because I love mermaids, what girl doesn't? And she was super cheap and Sonico is cute. Really no other reason than that. Cheap and cute and I'm sold. Next I have a figure that a lot of people ordered and a lot of people were anticipating for this summer and it is Snow Miku 2015. And I don't know if I'm going to do a review on her or not. I feel like she's been seen a lot and there's been a lot of reviews on her. So let me know in the comments, do you want to see me do a review on this one or should I just skip it because she's already had so much exposure. The next two items I'm going to show you are my first scaled figures that I've ever pre-ordered and I pre-ordered them during a Black Friday sale on Anime Island back in November so it, they have been a long time coming and I paid for them up front because I had to to get the Black Friday deal and it honestly knocked like $25 off of each of them so I definitely wanted that. I was a little nervous because PayPal wouldn't protect me after with that much length of time in between my payment and their release. But everything went smoothly. Anime Island, their communication with me was very, very good, despite 
some of the sketchy reviews I had seen about their communication. I had no problems with them. I got my figures and I'm gonna show you what they are because I'm really excited about them. First, we have the 1 8 scale figure by Kotobukiya of CL Phantom Hive from Black Butler. I love Black Butler. It's definitely one of my favorite series. Not so much the anime, definitely more the manga. And I needed to have scaled figures of Sebastian and Ciel. It needed to happen. And obviously, since I'm talking about this, the other one is Sebastian. Oh my god, oh my god. Husbando number two. Honestly, who doesn't have Sebastian as one of their husbandos? Like, seriously? But he is a perfect rendition of Sebastian. The only thing is that I will mention, and actually, no, I'm not even gonna talk about this. I want material for my review. But the platter, if you're on my figure collection or have ordered him yourself, you know what I'm talking about when I say the platter. The last things that I'm going to show you are three dolls that I bought this summer. And if you don't know, I do collect Monster High and Ever After High to a certain extent. And the first doll I have is my favorite ghoul. And it is Twyla. It is Freak Du Chic Twyla. Look at her. Everything about her. And she's on stilts. That is her talent in the Freak Du Chic act. And then the last doll and the last item that I'm going to show you is one that I've wanted since I saw the promo pics. It is Royally Ever After Apple White. This doll is beautiful. She has rooted eyelashes, which is a huge plus for me when it comes to dolls. I love rooted eyelashes. There is this lovely apple. There is a glare on her eyes, but try to ignore it. Her outfit is gorgeous. Her shoes. Shoes. And that is my summer nerd haul. Until next time, stay glamorous and stay geeky. Bye.